And here we are late in fall, beautiful day. And I want to take advantage of taking this car for a joy ride. So what do you say, you guys want to take a ride with me? If you've spent any time around Nick's garage, you'll know right away that this is a man with a passion for Mopar. But if you look a little deeper, you'll find that there's room in Nick's heart for all kinds of muscle cars, no matter the badge on the grill. And today, there's a silver Chevrolet that has caught the boss's eye. Hi, I'm Nick. Welcome to my shop here in Nick's Garage. I've got a 69 beautiful Yanko Tribute Camaro, which is a Yanko SE Supercars with a big block 4.274 speed. And here we are late in fall, beautiful day. And I want to take advantage of taking this car for a joyride. I'm waiting for the client to come in next week to give me a list of what he wants to get done on this car. So in the meantime, I've got it here. It's a beautiful day. And I said, let's take it for a joyride. So what do you say? You guys want to take a ride with me? It's a Yanko Tribute, which uh, Don Yanko used to build these cars down in Pennsylvania out of a dealership, and he used to also be a racer. And uh, he had a dealership and he used to modify these cars. He had Chevelles, Corvettes, Novas, Camaros. But right here we have a 69 Yanko Camaro, which is a Tribute car. It's a beautiful car. It's got the four-speed transmission, 12-board rear end, and a big block Chevrolet. So let's take a look. And here we have it. This is the way it came from the factory and at the dealership, the way you see it. It's a small car, light car with a big block. That's what everybody wanted. It was a four-speed car, big block, pony car, less weight, and enjoy it. So this is going to be a beautiful car to take for a drive in a few minutes. But I just wanted to go into you guys with the details. This is something that's uh, very unique. It's very rare. Not too many of them around. It is a beautiful car. It's also a very desired car as a 69 Camaro, but everybody knows that. An example, I do love Mopars, but I've also loved the Chevrolet line of uh, cars, uh, especially the 69 Camaro. It's always been one of my favorites, which is a great car. They sold many, many units. I don't know how many they have uh, sold out, but the 69 was a very popular car, liked car. Everybody loved it. They loved the package it came with. They were made at uh, Yanko. They were made at Baldwin Motion in New York, Long Island. The Chevrolet they also made the Copa Camaro itself. So there's a lot of good stuff coming from Chevrolet those years. From what I know, it used to be a dealership in Pennsylvania. His name was Don Yanko. He was also a racer and he used to build, uh, sell and build race cars well, race cars with modifications from the dealership that he owned. He built a few Yanko Camaros. Uh, he also did a few Chevelles, from what I know. And that is, this is why you see SYC. You see Y stands for Yanko, and then SC stands for supercars. And after that, so many years, everybody loved these cars, products. And if you wanted a Yanko Camaro back in those days, you go to Down Don, go see Don in Pennsylvania, and order one and have one built by him at his dealership. Yanko also had a lot of Camaros shipped to his place with the black interiors, I believe. I'm not so sure about the history on it, but I know that he also ordered them with V8s that he wanted to build them for a Yanko package. And here's one example, which is a tribute car, which is a perfect uh, model. A very favorite car for many, many Americans and, of course, a lot of uh, car enthusiasts around the world. This is a beautiful car. Look at this, Yanko. They made their own stripes. They had their own wheels. SC for supercars. What more can you ask for? Look at that beautiful interior.
And this is a four-speed car, a genuine steering wheel. Of course, you have the aftermarket uh, tachometer, but the uh, Chevrolet had a good uh, marketing on the 69 Camaro. A lot of people bought them, a lot of people raced them. I remember growing up in the 70s and uh, I, I owned the Hemi Cuda and I seen a lot of these Camaros around that everybody was cruising with them, racing with them or whatever. But uh, today, as you look at it, it's a unique car, it's rare and it's a beautiful car. You know, uh, I'm not so sure, but I know that the uh, 69 Camaro uh, came with a 427, but I'm not a specialist on the uh, Yanko Camaro. But if you guys know better, give us a comment on my channel. I'd like to read your comments on the 69 Camaro Yanko, which I'd like to learn more about it because this is the first time I have a tribute Yanko Camaro in my shop here. And you know, details are very important on a car like this because everybody knows the Yanko was a, a certain built car by a dealership by Don in uh, Pennsylvania. So, uh, you know, it is a very special car. I love it myself, don't worry about that. Let me tell you, it is a beautiful car. It's got a beautiful color to it. You can see the striping by Yanko. He's, uh, he's got a spoiler put on. He's got his own badge right here, 427 nameplate. And you know, these cars were built for one thing, to go fast. And that's the purpose they're around here today. And because it's a beautiful day here today, not that I uh, need to take this car for a ride, but since it's a beautiful day, I want to take this car for a joy ride. You know, it's going to start raining here soon, so you know what? I better get going and take this for a drive today while we have a chance. Oh, it's gonna be a nice sweet ride. One thing I love about my job is I drive all these beautiful muscle cars. All different brands, all different years, all different makes. What more can you ask for? You know, we have a few Camaros in the family. I got my brother Philip who uh, races with the uh, 2002 X State Trooper car from the uh, state of Florida, which converted to a uh, Dry car for uh, Naperville Dragway. But, anyways, right now, let's take this Yanko for a ride. What can you say? It's a 69 Camaro, big block. This is beautiful, you guys. This is beautiful. You know what? Maybe a Mopar guy, but I still love Chevys. I'm just gonna take it easy because uh, it's a bit, it's a weekday, people are working, so I'm not gonna put it to the pace. And like I said earlier, I'm waiting for the client to come in uh, to Montreal to meet me, to see what he, uh, what he wants to get done on this car. But in the meantime, I'll take a drive for you viewers to see this car, how it goes and what it's all about. Look at that, here we are in the middle of November. Okay, it's stalled. Here we go. This is awesome. You gotta watch out, you know, you got all these trucks pulling in and out. And we're driving here uh, a beauty or a classic, whatever you wish to call it. Or what I call a piece of jewel, beautiful thing. Beautiful car. Sounds great, rides beautiful. Listen to that sound. This is beautiful, man. You know, what is there not to like about a 69 Camaro? Come on, you guys, this is beautiful. You know, I may be a Mopar guy, but you know what? This is one beautiful car. Yes, this is a true muscle car, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna go up and down the street a few times. Enjoy the ride. I just love the sound of this car. 
You know, it sounds like a sounds like a big block, which it is. I've ordered a 2002 Camaro Z28 convertible, which I bought new, which I still have it today. And now my daughter drives it once in a while on the weekends in the summertime. And it's only got like not even 20,000 kilometers. And it's a 2002 silver car, just like this one here. You know what? America's favorite, 69 Camaro. This is that gearbox. Awesome. It's got a smooth ride. It's a, it's a muscle ride, I should say. And it feels, it sure definitely feels like a muscle car. This is, this is great. So simple, so simple. It's got its gauges. Voltage is good, oil pressure is good, water temperature is good. Oh, we're good for a drive. Here we go. Just want to drive this all day long. When it comes to driving muscle cars here at my shop, that's all we're about. Building muscle cars for everybody to enjoy. And since it's a beautiful day, I just want to take another ride around the block with this car. Just love it. Listen to that, listen to it, just pours. It just pours like a muscle car, look at that. This is awesome. You know, we'll take my, uh, my uh, favorite part up the uh, road, which is right next to the uh, prison, or should I say a correction center, penitentiary I should say, here it is right here, anybody outside, want to show them off this uh, beautiful Camaro, no one there, except for the guard on the tower. It goes good for it, let me tell you. But this is awesome. This is a beautiful joy ride. Cruise with it, race with it, drive it hard any way you wish. Put it to the pace, no matter what. It's a very enjoyable car to drive, let me tell you. You know, I can drive this car all day long. It drives nice, shifts well, pours like a pussycat. I mean, really, this is something. I don't want to bring it into the shop. I want to keep driving it. After all, how many more nice days we got left this year? Nick liked this Yenko tribute car as soon as he saw it. But once he got behind the wheel, he was convinced. But as the street outside the shop is full of traffic today, Nick decides to leave things in his mechanic's hands for a few minutes and take the Camaro out for a proper drive.
know it is brute power you guys big block four speed even with an automatic would have been okay would have been good this is one dream light let me tell you Also car with brute power. What a way to go. You know, I like all my viewers have a, a feel of a car every time I drive one, especially a muscle car or even a classic. And uh, I just love it, just love it. And one thing I like to do is share it with all my viewers here on Nick's Garage uh, channel on uh, YouTube. And there's nothing more I can do uh, to thank you guys feel like you're at home with me here with the uh, drives uh, I do with the uh, cars. I guess we got a rock crusher here with a four-speed Muncie. I believe it's a Muncie. I do not know. I didn't look, but most likely it would be. We had a 427 big block Chev. What more can you ask for? Here we are, 69 Camaro with a big block. see why a lot of people were buying these cars back in the uh, day it's just awesome driving these cars you know you drive new cars today but this still uh, to me this is still beautiful it's a joy ride you can call it what you wish it's awesome you know in my era we grew up with these cars like many of you viewers have and uh, what more can you ask for this is awesome you're watching this is one beautiful ride you've got here Tony
You know, this is the fun part. Driving muscle cars. Just love it. You could do this forever. You could be any kind, any make, any model, any year. I just love them all. And you know what? I always kept saying, I don't know what's going to come through my door next. And every time seems to be better and better. You gotta drive it hard sometimes. It is a supercar, so you know what? Let's enjoy it. Let's say, uh, you know, these cars were designed to be uh, pushed, or should I say, put them to the pace. You know, these are muscle cars, that's what they're designed for. Use their muscles. So here we are, using their muscles. You know, you know they design a, a powerful V8, big blocks, four speed, or even automatic. You know, they're designed to be pushed or put to the face like I'm doing right now. After all, you guys, let's, let's, uh, you know, let's be truthful. It is a muscle car. It should be driven the way it should be. Not like crazy, but you can push it once in a while like I've been doing here uh, today. And uh, this is the best part of it, you know. You go, you drive it, you enjoy it. Nothing broke down, everything's good. It's a good driver, let me tell you. Beautiful car. It's an older restoration done on it. Very nice job. And uh, I just enjoy driving it the way it is. I mean, this is... Uh, this is fabulous. Man, this is awesome. This is awesome, let me tell you. You gotta love what you do. You know, this is my job, testing people's cars, make sure they go good. You know, I wanna drive the cars hard once in a while. Uh, because, you know, uh, you wanna make sure it doesn't break it if a customer wants to take a car and push it to a limit sometimes. So my, my job is to make sure it holds in place. That's what I'm uh, here for. Want to make sure these guys, when they put them to the pace, that they stay together. I test them. If anything's gonna go loose, let it happen in my hands, so I can have it fixed at the same time. Now it's in my shop. So uh, that is the reason why I put these cars to the pace sometimes. Maybe customers take them uh, more radical than I do. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But after I go through the list with my client, and uh, then I'll take it for another drive after it's done. Then if everything goes well, it's ready for delivery. Now that was a ride and a half. I haven't driven like that for a while. You know, a lot of cars are in storage right now, but I sure enjoyed this ride, let me tell you. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride with me on this Camaro. Beautiful car here. Nico Tribute type with a big block, four speed. I hope you enjoyed the ride with me. And you guys, thanks for watching and thank you for the ride. And you guys, if you look down below the video, we have a whole bunch of merchandise that you guys can buy. So whatever you like, buy it. Love it, wear it, and enjoy it.
and help spread the word of Mixed Garage. And if you have some time, check out our Patreon page. We have extra content and you guys can watch it and take it from there. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>